Hi everybody and welcome to my channel Enlightened Tower. Thank you very much for coming over to watch the video. Um, I've had a little bit of time to do another video because it's Sunday, not as busy today, so that's why I'm doing this. Um, big thank yous all around really. Um, I wanted to say thank you to everyone supporting the channel, everyone booking in for personal readings, and everyone you know taking the time and effort to leave positive, lovely comments. And I have read some funny ones recently uh, over the last few days, but it's all good. Um, you know, it's always good to have a laugh and never to take life too seriously. So, thank you very much, everybody. Just about personal readings, if you do want to book in, please uh, message me on Enlightened Tarot at Outlook.com. Uh, I do phone readings and um, private YouTube readings as well. Um, they're both £15. Um, if I do the phone reading and I have to phone outside of the UK, then there's a couple of pounds added on just to cover the cost of the call, okay, because I do ring you. Okay, so let's look now at the Twin Flame Journeys for the 9th of April 2017. I've put four down already. This is a general reading, by the way, so, um, you know, take from it what you need to. Um, there is nothing set in stone with anybody's life path, okay? Um, it is basically um, things can change, energies can change. Um, but one thing I do know that when you're on a Twin Flame Journey, it can open up so many other things. That you would never have thought to open up or even look at okay so it can heal so many things this twin flame journey when you've been um when you've encountered it okay so um let's look at some of the possible blocks here because the two messages given were about your beliefs and what you think and and what you hold um in your mind and the other one was children okay so some of us have got this belief pattern this um you know um religious factors also play a part as to um you know what you want to do in your life how you live your life you know you've encountered this twin flame journey you know what do you do about it now you're such a religion your twin is another religion you know there's there's blocks okay it's causing um some blockages um and stopping the connection going forward into the form of a commitment possibly if that's what you're meant to experience but there is, this is about your beliefs okay and what you think so it can be putting some blocks in there for some of us going forward some of us may have children and that's good as well you know you've got children with other people and that's okay because that was all meant to happen um, but it may be stopping you going forward towards your twin okay so a um, couple of things there that may be stopping the journey it is your twin though, okay? Know that it is your twin. If you do feel that connection, that divine love, that spiritual connection, um, that intense eye contact, that body language, it is your twin and you do want the commitment. You know, both of you want it. But like I said, there are things here that are stopping your belief patterns, what you hold in your mind. You know, some of us, it, it could be children. Some of us, it could be both. But that's okay because those are part of the lessons okay for you to learn so we're just going to have a quick look here at the twin flame um, messages here from the angel therapy card let's go with this one here shield yourself okay so i feel that some twins you know may be kind of um Maybe have their, their guard up, you know, have this barrier that they're not really letting their twin know how they feel. They've kind of walked away a little bit, taken a step back. Um, not really kind of wanting to give too much away now because the separation is too long. And then contact comes and nothing really changes, even though you know then that there is this intensity between you, there is this magnetism. But I do feel that, you know, some of you now are holding back and um, really you're just kind of done and wanting to move forward with it and focus on other things that are less emotional you know you may be wanting to get back into work focus on your career more focus on your on your present family and just kind of shield yourself away from your twin so that you kind of don't go through these emotional ups and downs with it because it is so intense okay the next one here we've got um indigo the person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural-born leader. Okay, so this is just more uh, confirmation that, you know, the, 
person that you felt this connection with, you know, was, is your twin. Uh, you know, you were kind of meant to come together um, and be born at a similar time on the earth so that you could play out your part um, for your life path, okay? So this was kind of meant to be. Okay. And let's just pick a third card here, throat chakra. Okay, and this is about speaking your truth. And I feel here um, that, you know, if some of us are holding back, we do have shield yourself, so you're kind of holding back, keeping your guard up. You're not speaking your truth because some of you may feel it's not the right time to do so. Some of you are just like, I can't even tell them you know how a feeling words you can show them through your body language but you can't tell them because of your beliefs you know maybe some of you are not wanting to push it that far because you know that you couldn't take it to the next level because of these uh, belief patterns religious uh, factors uh, and some of you obviously can't move forward because of children possibly young children you know it stops you from really telling the truth uh, from really kind of telling your twin how you truly feel and that's okay. That is okay. It is all part of the journey. It's all part of the experience. It's all part of, you know, learning about you, learning about who you truly are. It really is all good. You have nothing to, to fear about anything on your life because everything is always working out for you. Okay? Always. You have to remember that. It's all about trying to stay in alignment as much as you possibly can. I know it's difficult and I know, you know, um, coming in and out of alignment is, is quite normal for a lot of people. But if you can find a place where you can always go to um, within yourself and find that peace, it will do so much good to you so that everything can start to flow nice and naturally. Uh, and the manifestations of all good manifestations will start to come through. Um, I'm going to go straight to the Abraham cards now because I don't have too much time to um, look into other cards. But I'm just going to go straight to these and see what messages they want to give us for this twin flame journey. Okay, I'm going to go with this one because it was the top one and I did feel that it was for me. Okay, and this I think is going to be a reminder for a lot of people and just me talking about alignment. You know, we've now got this card so... Um, this has come for a reason, okay? So this is going to be a reminder, I feel. I came as an extension of source energy. Okay, can you see this picture? You came as an extension of source energy. And the message at the back says, you came as physical extensions of source energy, understanding that you would explore contrast, causing expansion, not only for you, but for all that is. You knew that you could find your way back to the resources of your source by feeling your way and by understanding that the relationship between you and you is not one of separateness but of alignment and resonance. When you master the art of allowing your consistent alignment with the source within you, every other relationship will be beneficial and pleasurable. I mean, guys, this is absolutely perfect. From what I was just saying just then, from the cards that we got here, I mean, this is, you know, basically, I'm going to say law of attraction, okay? I've just been talking about alignment, and we've got this beautiful card, this reminder for all of us is that we all came as an extension of source energy, okay? And when you become aligned with yourself, your higher self, okay, that means that everything can start to flow beautifully, okay? Release resistance, release um, worry, release doubt let it all go because it really doesn't do you any good and how many things you know you feel go wrong and then it kind of goes wrong again and then possibly the week after there's something else happens you know that's you being uh, out of alignment and that is you putting up the resistance let it go just leave it you know uh, out of your life you don't need doubt you don't need worry you don't need any resistance at all relax meditate deep breaths every day, positive affirmations will always help, okay? So please work on alignment. If you have to maybe look at uh, releasing some old belief patterns that don't really serve you anymore, that would be good. Um, you know, obviously take care of your families and whoever you're with, whoever have got partners now and kiddies. You know, it's all good. Um, but obviously you need to look at your heart's true desire as well and work out what is 
good for you going forward and just to know your twin and you are always connected and that you do to do truly want to be together okay you do truly want this commitment okay so alignment is key guys okay i will have to wrap it up there i am going to put another video out fairly soon maybe in a day or two so look out for that one as well um, please message me like i said uh, anytime you like um i hope this has helped in some way like i said i'm going to get another video out fairly quickly um but i do want to wish you all love light and peace and I will talk to you all very soon. Thank you very much.